So, hello, you join me here for a little bit of painkiller. Whoa, I've got a demon head thing. <laughs> Sweet ass. This is Painkiller Overdose, and I've never actually played this game before. I've played a couple of the other painkillers, and I'm fucking useless at them. But I've never actually played this one. Now, this is kind of cool. I'm saving, yep, save the progress, I'm happy with that. Let's pick up some extra health. The extra health here, you only get one extra health every time you enter. Oh, that's already dead, I think. Let's just, uh... I've got a cube now! Sweet! Oh, God only knows what the cube does. Ah! The cube slices. it! Whoa! There's a thing behind me. Fair enough. This is all sort of... I'm, I'm actually a demon, I think. I wasn't expecting to actually be a demon. I can't... As I say, never played this before, so this was always going to end as a great idea. That's very much like the uh, weapon I was kind of expecting. Because it spins out. I think that the weapon I'm thinking of is officially known as the painkiller. But as I'm somewhere along the line, it's decided I am supposed to be a demon. That's some kind of... Yeah, that is some kind of move. That's fine. Ah, I'm running low on shot. Ah, but I picked up another weapon. Whoa, what is this thing going to do? Bang! Oh, actually, it's... Uh... Ow! Are you actually... No, I think you're just fire. This is actually... Whoa! Fire! The... How? Oh, that's interesting. The button I expected to cause a sprint is actually... I can... I can actually kill fire. Well, I suppose it's better than not being able to kill fire. Jesus, this is... Are you... I think you're now dead. Oh, there's another one. This weapon was ever so slightly anticlimactic, I think. Uh, I was expecting... Double... Double chambers there. I was expecting something truly epic, but... Uh, not quite as epic as I thought. I haven't got any uh, specials. I haven't got any of the secondary form. But yes, that's interesting. Why does the... <gasps> Uh, let's go back to that, because then we can smash things. We can smash things with impunity, as it doesn't make any difference. Because I'm not going to run out of ammunition, because this is in infinite ammo, as you can see in the corner. Uh, so yes, this was a slightly surprising addition to the uh, special. That's not an enemy. Ah! That's, that is actually damaging them. My health has been fully regenerated. Superbish. Although, I don't think it has, has it? Uh, I'm running quite low on weapons. I, well, <laughs> I'm doing surprisingly well. I've never, ever... Ah! Foul! Fire demon! Whoa! What? You appear to be... On wheels, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Oh, ow! What? Did you actually strike me? Ah! I fell in a pit! Oh, that's unfair. I fell in a pit. Oh, di- Mr. Steamroller didn't even get me. I fell in a pit. That's bullshit. I emphasise bullshit. Oh, no, it is loading. I had a nasty feeling it wasn't stuck. <laughs> Couldn't quite handle the uh, pressure of falling in a hole. But uh, I think, yeah, it usually takes a while to load. But uh, I think oh, I'll give it another go. Give it another go. See if I can get a bit further. But yes, I wasn't expecting that. And uh, this is... Uh, I've already said it's Painkiller Overdose. Wasn't expecting to be a demon. I was expecting to be a human character. And I've never played it before. Hence why I have no idea what I'm doing. And have <laughs> no real clue what any of the weapons are. Although we appear to have found a simple shotgun. Uh, must try and figure out what the special attack on the shotgun is. If we can... No, still don't have any special. But uh, we'll make do with it just being a shotgun. I get way too... Oh, jeez Louise. Fire again. I think he said something. I missed it. But that is... That's a little bit weird how the shift key appears to be an alternate fire button. That's... that's I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. 
No, he could be anytime soon if you wouldn't mind dying. Oh man, I'm running low on health. They're throwing dust at me. I don't like. Ah, oh, there's another fucker. I'm running surprisingly. Oh, you son of a bitch has a. I. I thought he only would have run at me and ah, oh, bastard. I didn't realise he'd have a ranged attack, did I? How was I going to know these things? Stupid game. Stupid game. Thinking I actually have talent. I don't. Anyway, I think we'll. We'll call it quits there and fade off into something else. So, enjoy the rest of this Dragon's Half Hour. Stoker's Dracula! <laughs> We're going to do it on normal mode, and uh, I'm going to give myself as much health as is humanly possible, and as many lives as is humanly possible as well. Let's start! Let's start the Dracula Fest! It's, it wouldn't be a Halloween special without some kind of classic horror literature, and here's a good one. Vampire! The journey to Castle Dracula. <laughs> Let us begin. Zoom. And here's Jonathan Harker facing dogs and drunk men. Because I think we're in a tavern. If that wasn't obvious, oh, for f that dog. Every single one of those dogs has got me. But that is bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Mr. Van Helsing. Uh, Yes, I'd like that sword. Could you... Any chance you could give me the sword? No, I have to go get it myself. What a lazy fucker. But it's not far. It's down here. And we go from a piddly little dagger to an enormous blade. Although, the graphic, admittedly, it's supposed to be me sort of swinging the sword, isn't it? But it looks more like he's waving a white flag. I'm Jonathan Harker. I'm a coward. Please leave me a be. Ah, oh, no, I died. Incredibly easy to die in this guy. Go away, dog! I don't want you around. I'm waving the white flag! Please leave me alone! And the exit is strange because you don't exit through a door, you don't exit through off screen. You exit by. Duck explode! <laughs> exploding ducks! I officially have an exploding duck as Jonathan Harker, which is spectacular news for I am, I suppose. I imagine. It. Oh yeah, you're not getting me that time, you little shit. I have played this before, hence why I know to a certain extent. Uh, lousy piece of crap. To a certain extent, I know what to expect from bits and pieces, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to do it well at all. Ah, here we go. This is our first... No, it's not. This is our first... No. Yes, it is. Beware. First bo... Son of a bitch. First boss and he gets me. Right. Duck. And close. And far. And close. And far. And close. Yes, it was that challenging. You just had to get it to be a case of... I'm up close. I'm away. I'm up close. I'm away. So, what do we got next? Next level! Let's move on to the next level. Harker's escape from the castle. Harker's escape from the castle. You wouldn't really repeat the phrase in a book, would you? Just so you've got a picture in the book. And magically appear from nowhere. Nothing spectacularly new here. We. Pretty much, I think the entire game is you go and visit your pal in Vampiric Slightage, Buffy. Uh, no, it's uh, nothing to do with. Oh, for fuck's sake, bloody creatures all over the place. You go and meet your fellow vampire slaying master in Bloody Flies in uh, Van Helsing, and he, t he generally tells you, hey, there's. Oh, for fuck's sake, flies. 
no, that's not what Van Helsing generally tells you. He generally tells you that there's a power up available for you to go and find, ah, such as the gun. We'll have some fun shooting some shit, because I didn't get that in the last one. Well, I suppose my sacrifice of health allowed me to kill the creature. Oh! This is immensely difficult, because the enemy... Talk of the devils? The enemies just rush you. And it's surprisingly difficult... Ah, my explosive duck to leave the level. It's surprisingly difficult to actually time it so you catch the enemies correctly. It's a blasted nuisance, to be perfectly honest. As you can see, I love this guy. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, it's not its not bad, it's just... I suppose, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now I have to figure out how the fuck to get past that. That's as far as I've ever gotten in this game, because... I don't know, it's just... How do you get past that thing? And I'm fairly certain you have to get past it. Because, I mean, I can destroy that for some... You go away, you stupid skeleton. I can jump on a dragon's head, which I don't appreciate being J Dragon 56. I don't appreciate people jumping on my head. But I don't... I must be missing... Either I'm missing the ability to time this perfectly... Because I'm... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, how... Seriously, how do you get past that? Because, to me... That reeks of bullshit. I just destroyed another creature with my hair. Awesome. And if you take it slow... Are you... How... I... Words fail me at how the fuck you are supposed to do anything to do with that. We'll go down here and destroy this crystal again, just in case it's some kind of important thing to do, but it, as far as I can tell, I've been mooching around with it destroyed and mooching around with it non-destroyed. Oh, bats against my head again. Can I? I can't exit through the door, so it is. You have to go through this way. But I'm... Bloody rats. Don't respawn. Rats. No! No! You don't... You don't... You don't even have enough health to be able to rush through it. You do actually have to do it in some manner. And I... I don't know. I'm not seeing a... Ow! If you... They are too... Am I... Clearly I'm the only one, I'm sure. As usual, I'm the only one thinking that... Bollocks. What do you... What do you do to get past these blades? I mean, you can't destroy them. Well, can I? Can I destroy them? I, I don't... I don't... I appear to not have my gun anymore. Blasted motherfuckers! Why have you taken my gun away? Yeah, even trying to sort of... No... I, th I think we're going to leave it there. Because that... I have no idea how to get past that obstacle. I mean, clearly it's some kind of timing that I can't fathom or work out. And... That's the sort of point where I generally go, eh, bored now. So, that was Dracula. It seems a decent game, but that trap there is piss-takingly bullshit, and I don't like it. So, <laughs> we're leaving off there. I'll give it one more go, just on the off chance something suddenly clicks that suddenly makes me go, alright, oh, that's how you do it. But, I mean, to me, that seems too rapid to truly do anything with. And he, he, he either walks too slowly or too fast. How do you get past it? How do you get past blades that close together? Huh. I mean, I... Can you sort of slide? I suppose you can just slide to a duck ever so slightly. Maybe that's the key. You have to, s you have to duck to a. S you have to slide into a duck. No, because even the duck isn't ducked enough to. As I say, I'm going to go ahead and assume I am missing an exceedingly key 
piece of information here, or else that trap is absolute shit. I appear to have one more life left, so I might as well try one more time, but... No, I... Oh, I've got one more life left now. Oh, fuck, so... Yeah, I just just kill yourself, Harker. Just kill yourself. I, I genuinely don't care anymore, Mr. Harker. You're now dead. So, uh, you will not be able to continue, Mr. Harker, with the next part of Dragon's Half Hour Halloween Special. <laughs> Fade away. Ingolstadt. Bavaria, the early part of the 19th century, the lodgings of one Victor Frankenstein, a medical student at the Ingolstadt University. Lightning striking! Do you know what it is? This is Frankenstein! We delve once again into classic horror! Oh, gone crackly! Mr. Stitched! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> I am a god, for I am Victor Frankenstein! Yes, this is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I don't know what the options are. Let's see what the options are. Oh, the options are, how do you want to control this game? That's fine, I suppose. As you can see, I am playing Mr. Tall and Ugly himself. With the dodgy looking jump, Mr. Frankenstein's monster! You thought I was going to get that wrong, didn't you? You thought you were going to be able to comment. It's not named Frankenstein, monster. But you can't, I got it right. Albeit partially wrong in the first place. This game is absolutely astonishingly difficult. Oh, doesn't help that I was jumping when I shouldn't have been. You've got a special, but as with many of these bloody things, I think the special does take up your health, which means you ought to be using a stick. Now I've got a flaming stick! Feel my flaming stick! But I'm feeling their pitchforks ever so slightly more, and they seem to be pretty freaking infinite. Ah, I smashed your pot and then I smashed your face, you little bitch. The blokes in uh, the sort of funny hats, they're just ordinary ordinary citizens and these guys are sort of the big old guards and are slightly tougher but this game I don't know you don't seem to ever have quite enough reach is that yes you open that I've no idea what you do with it uh, oh I didn't mean to press that button I was trying to open that um, thing but these enemies are irritatingly infinite or at least I think they are. I mean, there's nothing... I can smash the windows to stop the pot ladies smashing things on my head. And this this bit takes an immense amount of uh, swiftness, which I think, ultimately, I've shown! Oh, hell yeah! That's some professional bullshit right there, my friend. Is that ever going to... Alright, I might want to go back up. Do I? I've no idea. There's a treasure chest. Can I get? No, no, not really. Oh, damn it all! I've got to go. Oh, hello! I can roll exceedingly long distance, extreme distance rolling. Smash that woman, because we don't want her screwing this up for me. No, no, no! I missed you, bastard machine. Right, well, we've got to reset it again. Alright, get back down here, you turd burglar. Ah, crap, so we're going to have to go back down again. Flick the switch, get the fuck up there. And there we go, plenty of time this time. Now, I've no idea how to get that chest, and seems as last time it screwed me over. I don't think I'm going to bother too much with the notion of getting... Oh, actually, no, tell a lie. I'm going to get the chest after all, because I figured out how to do it. Whee! Is that a window I can smash? Yes. And now I can go back to Flaming Stick! Fear my monstrous Flaming Stick! Arr! 
I have a flaming stick, a flaming stick. A flaming stick, a flaming stick. Fear my flaming stick. Don't jab me with your saber. Blasted assholes. The puff into nothingness. That didn't exactly get me far. Probably need that. No, don't roll, don't roll. I need you to go over there so I can go over there. If this is going to turn out to be anywhere near useful. No, no, that's... What, what, the, what was the point in... Oh, I'm not even going to ask. Oh, yeah, actually, I already have asked several times what the point in that was. Because it was absolutely pointless. I don't know why you'd want to get on the thing. Jumping is irritating at the best of times. Jumping in this is a little bit more, a little bit more irritating because he is ultimately a lumbering beast of a man. Oh, I'm dead. A lumbering beast of a dead creature. Game over. You only appear to have gotten one life. That seems a little harsh. You get one health bar, and you have to use part of that health bar if you even want to bother with the specials. I think we'll leave Mary Shelley's Frankenstein there. So, uh, let's have a fade out. They never get old. Ah, probably does actually get old. Me keep saying the word fade out. Oh, well. Fade.